are both female early 20s. I'll prep ORs 1 and 2 and get teams in place. We need two OR staff. Already on it. What happened? Car and a bus collided. Car one. One patient has severe head trauma. I've got her. Another patient has severe spinal cord damage. We don't know how bad it is until we open her up. Dr. Hunter is still in Boston. Call Marucci. It's at least 30 minutes till he gets here. We don't have time. I'll do the spine surgery. Call Mercy and make sure there's somebody there to come over. I said I can handle it. Let's just wait if somebody comes to Mercy first. Tiffany will find someone else for this one. That is so like a neurosurgeon. Always thinking they're better at spines and orthopods. Uh, just try not to take it personally. Neurosurgeons think they're better at almost everything. It's ultimately why I didn't choose spines as my specialty. I got tired of being marginalized by those massive egos. The patient has severe injuries. It might be more than one surgeon can handle on their own. Meanwhile, you're wasting time the patient doesn't have. I'm here. Use me. Why don't I scrub in with Lisa? I, I've backed up Patrick before, and hopefully some of his genius has rubbed up on me. That would be great. Uh, who's the anesthesiologist? Uh, there are a couple on call. Are you okay with this? Lisa needs you more than I do on this one. Yeah, we'll be fine. You go be a hero. Where are you with cervical spine injuries? The MRI shows the patient C67 and T1 received the worst damage. There's also some compression on the spinal cord. We'll keep an eye on the patient's blood pressure. I already ordered BP meds just in case. Oh, no wonder why Patrick was so flipped out. He wanted you in on his surgery. And here I thought you were all distracted by something. I was just thinking that a couple of hours ago, Shannon Kwan was a perfectly healthy college student coming out of her class at PCU. She'll be lucky if she lives, let alone walk again. I'm not a big picture person, Robin. I have to look at this woman one vertebrae at a time. Blood pressure's dropping fast. I noticed some shadowing around the spleen, but the radiologist reported it was clear. It must have ruptured. Scalpel. Spleen has ruptured. Can you tie it off? Can't see anything in here. Retractor. V fib. Charge the paddles. Tiffany. We really don't know why we're here. Drinking and drown out your problems is for people who have problems, and that's really not me. You lost a patient. I'm a doctor. It happens. It's not like somebody. What? Died? I'm an experienced surgeon. Occasionally you lose one. It's part of the job description. I hate it, but sometimes you draw the short straw and you get a Shannon Kwan. It's too far gone to save. Hello, girls. You celebrate Hello? the night? Hi. Just another day at the office. Two shots of tequila. A virgin margarita for me. I love it when you talk dirty, girl. <laughs> Come on, Mitz. I know. I ordered the most from me. That was a long haul. Yeah, it was, but she's all right. Patients in recovery. You need to up this with accident for SWI for the first 24 hours. How'd Dr. Niles' procedure go? What happened? Hypovolemic shock. Dr. Niles is new, is she? No, she's new here, but she came to us from Providence and Houston. What's that got to do with anything? Is she in the staff lounge? Uh, Dr. Niles and Dr. Scorpio signed out already. Where's the surgical report? Thank you. Dr. Niles did everything she could for the patient. Robin Consulting, I'm sure. So you've already seen the report? No. The patient was probably too far gone. If there were never questions, we wouldn't have to fill out reports, but there are, and we do. I'm looking for the doctor who operated on my sister, Shannon Kwan. Uh, yes, that's Dr. Niles. She's not available right now. I'm Dr. Drake. I'm a surgeon here. I operated on the other crash victim. Well, I want you to explain to me how you screwed up and let my sister die. I'm sorry, I... Went to page the doctor. Dr. Niles is left for the evening. What is she running from, a, a malpractice suit? 
Sir, your sister had severe spinal cord damage. It was complicated by internal bleeding. What about her friend Melody? She was driving. She lived in. She, I mean, the police said she went through the windshield. The difficulty of stopping an auxiliary bleed in the middle of the surgery is... is I'm not trust. interested in your excuses. My sister is dead. Mr. Coleman, Dr. Steve Weber, Chief of Staff, I am very sorry for your loss. Why don't you come with me? I've got whatever I can. It's okay. I've got it. So, where did you see your, you did your internship? St. John's, Atlanta, the hood. It was rough from day one, especially weekends. The GSWs would start showing up on Friday night. And not stop until Monday morning, right? No matter how good you are, you cannot beat multiple gunshot wounds. It used to piss me off. So many of those deaths were preventable. So I learned to step back, pick myself up, and move on to the ones that I can save. But it never gets easy. Could you give me the surgical reports for the past two weeks? Don't ever do that again. Easy, Doc. I was just trying to defuse this. What you did was pull rank in front of the patient's family. I read the report and you were right. There was nothing more Dr. Niles could have done to save Shannon Kwan. So did you protect Dr. Niles and the patient's family? Because if you don't protect us, you're not going to last very long here. You seem to be doing fine at protecting yourself. But I come from the school that says when you treat a patient, you have a responsibility to their family. Dr. Weber, my job is to be the best surgeon that I can possibly be. Now let's compromise. You let me do my job and I'll let you do yours. I love having someone's life in my hands and knowing that I'm the one that can fix them. That's sort of sick, isn't it? Well, it's the doctor's disease, perfectionism and power. Take two humility pills and call me in the morning. But I love that rush of getting it right, you know? Pulling off a miracle. I mean, we only get one body and it's so damn vulnerable. You can't just let anyone mess with it. That's funny, I've heard Patrick say the exact same thing. Well, it's easy to imagine why he became a surgeon. That cockiness, the knowledge that you are changing people's lives. Well, I may not be a surgeon, but I definitely understand the rush. No matter what Patrick says, deep down he's going to believe that he could have saved my patient. And there's a tiny little part of me that's afraid he's right. 